Yevgraf Dmitrievich Tyorin was a Russian architect and art collector, famous as the builder of Elikovo Cathedral in Moscow. The main cathedral of Russian Orthodox Church in 1945-2000, and Moscow State University expansion in 1830. Tyorin's life and work, especially in his later years, was poorly documented. His life period is usually presented as 1792-1870, however, recent studies by Sofia Tyrina Mitrokina extend it, most likely, to 1793-1875. This article is based on biography by Sofia Tyrina Mitrokina Tyor and was a free-born from low classes. The year of his birth is disputed. In 1805-1813, Tyorin studied practical construction crafts in the Moscow Kremlin Building Commission, then headed by Kremlin Administrator Pyotr Stepanovich Valuyev. Later, Tyorin studied architecture under Domenico Gilliardi. Since 1816, Tyorin was involved in temporary repairs of the old Great Kremlin Palace, first under Ivan Mayarovsky, then under Vasily Stasov. Prince Nikolai Yusupov, who replaced late Valuyev as the Kremlin Administrator, assigned Tyorin to assist in rebuilding his Arkhangelsky estate, damaged in 1812. Tyorin joined a team of architects, initially led by Joseph Bove. Later, after an accidental fire in 1829, he was the sole architect rebuilding Arkhangelsky. His most valuable, undisputed extant input is the 1818 Caprice, restored in 1970 to Tyorin's original drafts. Original wooden Kolomensky Palace was torn down in the age of Catherine II. In the 1820s, Tyorin was assigned to rebuild the palace. His design mixed traditional neoclassical order with irregular composition of the old palace, crowned with various towers and tented roofs. Tsar Nicholas I eventually dismissed Tyorin when his structure was already topped out, and installed Andrei Stackenschneider to rebuild it anew. In the end, Tyorin's structure was abandoned and demolished. Tyorin is also credited with the extant Lipke Pavilion and repairs of Kazan Church. In 1826, Tyorin's younger brothers, Daniil and Nikolai, were involved in so-called Kritsky Brothers Circle, a group of six revolutionary students aged 17 to 21. Tsar Nicholas personally dispatched Daniil to Schlüsselburg prison, without trial and without any definite term of punishment. Yevgraf's career was damaged, nearly to the point of personal bankruptcy, he had to sell his house in Znaminka Street. Main University Hall, restored in 1817-1819 by Domenico Gilliardi after the fire of Moscow, immediately required expansion. Nicholas I arranged buyout of adjacent, incomplete Poshkov House, not to be confused with the surviving Poshkov House, part of the Russian State Library. Assigning the project to Tyron. The new structure became auditorium building, flanked by University Library and St. Tatiana Church, right. Tyron had a talent of building urban public buildings with a spirit of country palaces, opposed to the practical looks of Gilliardi and Kazakov's designs. The corner rotunda church of St. Tatiana, designed as the visual anchor of university, was destroyed in 1919 and restored in the 1990s. Elikovo, 1882 photograph Tyron's cathedral stands on the site of an older church built in the 1720s, famous as the site of Alexander Pushkin baptism. Tyorin's role was forgotten until 1923, when Vivi's Gura found architect's original records in the church archive, and now Elikovo is credited to Yevgraf Tyorin alone. The church is known as the last, ideologically, statement of a great era in arts, Russian Empire, Sgura. Since in 1838 Nicholas I mandated use of Constantine Thon's Byzantine eclectics. Tyorin's design is not free from eclectics, too, as is seen from excessive decoration of main dome drum and portico. Tyorin's work on the Neskushno Palace in Moscow, under his old mentor Ivan Mayarovsky, is a well-known fact, but his actual personal input to this project is not clear. Tyorin was also credited with the Trinity Church of Danilov Monastery, which is now attributed to Joseph Bov. Tyorin, collecting art since the 1820s, had a vision of a public art gallery in Moscow which became his Ide Fix. Later, when he negotiated donating his collection to Moscow University, he estimated its size at 415 paintings, of Italian, Dutch and Russian masters. Tyorin used to take fees and paintings, not money, in the end of his life, he sold the treasure and it dispersed. He died and was buried in Tula. Thanks for watching.